Hello, Cancer. So welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here doing your daily reading and already it's it's uh, starting off not so good for other people, man. They messed with the wrong person here, Cancer. I'm telling you. Um, anyway, my darlings, this reading is for the collective. So just take what resonates, Cancer, and leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Um, thank you for the likes. Everybody new here, thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. I love you all. All right, so Cancer. Um, it says here, do not meddle in the affairs of wizards, for they are subtle and quick to anger. Okay, um, and then we've got the door to the Akashic Records, and um, does, uh, does consciousness ring a bell? Um, what I'm feeling here is high priestess, um, ascended master kind of energy okay <laughs> the whoever this is that messed with you they shouldn't have meddled or somebody shouldn't have gotten in between a connection here meddling in the affairs of wizards um so i feel like um i'm you know honestly the more i look at this i'm kind of getting the sense that there's a masculine energy who's really upset and here you are over here being an ascended master like you've been doing your work you've been you've have heightened abilities now okay um you're looking into your akashic records you've got um you're getting visions like clear visions of past lives and um why you're going through or have gone through this journey okay i feel like um your third eye man is open wide okay and, uh, you know, when we talk about wizards, you guys, I always think of the magician. And those of you who know me know that I see the magician card a lot as the divine masculine. So I feel like you're a divine feminine. This could be a divine masculine here. But somebody messed with the wrong connection or the wrong person, okay? Because either the divine is really angry or this masculine is really angry, okay? But we're going to find out. Divine, what do you have for Cancer? Clarify this quick to anger. So yeah, Cancer, you're um, definitely extremely psychic. Or I'm talking to somebody who's very intuitive, very tapped into the divine. Okay. Um, high priestess energy for sure. This is a past life soulmate connection, you guys, with the Six of Cups. So, you know, it's I'm feeling that twin flame connection thing going on here. Okay, you've been nothing but strong. Yeah, somebody is sabotaged. Somebody got in between this connection, just like I was saying. Okay, this is something that should have come together here, I feel. Um, you, sh you two should have been together. You should have had a victory in this together cancer and this is definitely a past life soulmate connection i'm also feeling like a divine masculine here who can't stop thinking about you they're kind of feeling daydreamy here like you know we've got the ticker tape parade and we i mean it's almost like they're they're dreaming of what life could be with you okay um we've got six wands here four of them stand for a, a reunion this person wants to get back together with you this is what they're dreaming about okay but then we've got these two wands here and that means this person was stuck in a choice they were they needed to make a decision between two people and i feel like someone got in the middle of this connection and sabotaged it okay that's what this five of swords is You've had nothing but strength and integrity in this whole entire thing, Cancer. I'm seeing this as you. Um, you. You may have a lot of Leo in your chart. Okay, but yeah, this, this masculine is angry because they know now what this connection is. They know that they are a divine masculine, but they didn't exactly live up to their title yet. Okay, they're just realizing now that this connection was sabotaged. And all they can, this person can think about is getting back together with you. But when they had a decision to make, they made the wrong choice. They could have believed somebody else's lies. Um, I feel like people were lying about you. Um, 
they just got in the middle. People didn't want this. Somebody did not want this connection to come together. Okay, it could be a masculine energy. It could be three feminine energies. Okay, given this person a whole lot of little tidbits of information that weren't true. Now, don't these feminines, they look like they're being pretty sneaky to me. So I feel like this person had a lot of people whispering in their ear. Okay, and they believed everybody without even giving you an ounce of respect and consideration to come towards you and at least talk to you about it. I feel like this person just kind of ghosted you. They listened to other people. They probably weren't sure what to do. So they trusted these people that were in their inner circle. Now this person is finding out that they were lied to, that this connection was sabotaged, okay? Um, on purpose. I feel like these were feminine energies that were just, I, I don't want to say the word, but um, <laughs> uh, I feel like they were just very negative energies, okay? Um, they were possibly very jealous of you, envious of you. They did not want this person and you to get together. But that tells me that this was a very important connection. You know, connections like this are tested. Okay, and I feel like that's how this connection was tested. That's how the masculine was tested. Were they, were they going to believe in you or believe in these these people here? Were they going to have um, <clears throat> were they going to have the senses to um, use their discernment and see these people for who and what they were, which is toxic? You know, people that just wanted to get away, um, get in the way, or um, were they going to, you know, have faith in this connection and, it, you know, at least communicate with you? This person failed a big test here. Okay? They failed it miserably. And I feel like, um, you know, number two, I, I kind of get the sense that this person may have been kind of freaked out by your intuition. I, I'm getting the sense that there were other people like picking away at what you were doing or realizing that you're intuitive and they, they maybe made fun of you. Okay, they kept feeding this person's head full of a bunch of BS. And, you know, they're just now realizing somehow. I don't know how, but this person's having an enlightenment. Okay. They're having an enlightenment. I don't know what's triggered this person. I feel like you have a lot to do with it. I, and I'm kind of getting the sense that you could be in the public eye somewhere here, okay? Um, a lot of people seeing you. This person could have been watching you, you know, um, with everything that you're doing, okay? You literally um, are, ex you're exuding strength right now. You're exuding in integrity. Like it's coming out of your pores, cancer. Okay. Honesty, integrity. This person can clearly see the kind of person you are now. And I feel like you are actually proving everybody wrong about you. You're being vindicated behind the scenes and you don't even realize it because you're not you're not a part of their world right now, okay? So yeah, I feel like um, everybody in this situation, anybody that went up against the star, this light worker, this is a divine feminine energy here. Anybody who went up against this connection is under judgment right now. And I feel like um, the divine is haunting them. I'm kind of getting the sense that ancestors are being called in. Um... <clears throat> And I feel like whoever this, whoever did this was just about money, okay? They were just about the money. They wanted to keep this masculine stuck and trapped in this situation um, because they were using them for the cash, okay? This, uh, this also says something about that too. But I feel like that's just all the lies and the, and the, the crap that they fed this person, you know? But so you... Um, you are definitely in the public eye here with the star and underneath this eye, okay? 
and you're out here being beautiful, intuitive, you're an empath, a healer, you could have your own platform, you could just be on social media, right? Uh, a huge following here. I feel like people are just loving whatever you're putting out there, including this masculine. Now, whatever you're doing here, Cancer, I feel like you're definitely using your intuition here. This is definitely an ability, um, a psychic ability that you're exercising here, okay? Um, so I feel like you're getting intuitive messages, you know, talking to spirit. Spirit is helping you guide other people, including your masculine. So you actually triggered this masculine to realize who you are, to realize who they are, and to realize the kind of people they've had around them. It's, it's almost like you're... Um, something goes off in this masculine's head, like, oh, <laughs> right? Like, it's an aha moment. Ah, I see it now, right? You, I feel, are the one that brought that on. So you have triggered this masculine, you've enlightened this masculine, you've exposed other people, and you do it, you did it all with your intuition, um, not having any bad intentions for anyone, and at the same time, you were moving forward to get your victory. Cancer, holy cow. And you that means you're the greatest of all time, Cancer. You're the goat. <laughs> you know, and here's the thing. You did all of this um, after having your heart ripped out, you know? You did all of this after having somebody just turn their back on your love. And you, I feel like you knew, you knew it at a soul level, Cancer. This is my person. This is my divine masculine. You know, all you wanted to do was love somebody. All you wanted to do was love this person. And all of these people put you through hell. For what? I feel like, Cancer, all you've been is loving to people. You know, the, I, I feel like they just, they wanted to hang on to your person's money, okay? Um, and, uh, and they were envious, jealous, and just, you know, some people, Cancer, when they see somebody who's happy, when they see somebody who's glowing, when they see somebody who's getting blessed, you know, they just want to ruin it. Some people are just that way. And it's all because, you know what, they're insecure with themselves. You know, the hurt people hurt people, right? We've talked about that before, you know? But yeah, I, I feel like everybody just trashed your reputation, spread a bunch of lies about you, ruined this love connection, okay? Got in the way, wouldn't leave it alone, sent you spiritual attacks, right? Um, laughed at you, uh, made fun of you maybe even. And why? Because you were loving to somebody? That's it. Because you were loving to someone. And you know what? These three feminine energies here, you may even know them. They could be ex-friends. They could be family members. Who knows? Right? But I feel like you were loving to these people. Yeah, look, the lover's card. This is a twin flame soulmate connection, man. And you both had this magnetic attraction towards each other. Like, there's a lot of chemistry here between you, Cancer. Okay? I feel like, too, this person, this masculine, um, they're working together with somebody here to try to make a plan to come back in. You know, they want to try to rekindle this fire. Okay, they do. They want to, they want, I feel like they want a new beginning with you. They want this back. All right. So I feel like this person is making a plan that they're not telling anybody about. Um, they're being absolutely secretive. See, because now they realize they can't trust anybody but you. Um, but they're, they're making a firm decision here, Cancer, with the Emperor coming out. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Aries, um, I've got Gemini out here as well. 
Yeah. This person wants, this emperor wants their empress. And they are making a plan, a secret plan. They're not talking about it to anybody. They can't trust anyone, you know? That was another thing, too. That's weird. Uh, before I sat down to do your reading, I heard, trust no one. That's what I heard, trust no one. And I kind of spaced it until now. I'm so sorry, Divine. Uh, but yeah, they're just, they're reminding me of that now. Yeah, this person doesn't trust anyone. And Cancer, quite frankly, um, if this is you in this situation or anybody out here, I feel like right now you've got to be really careful who you trust. Because, man, I'm telling you, people that you maybe have forgotten about from years ago or people that you never thought would try to sabotage you i'm telling you man there's people talking about you you are in the mouths of so many people in your community okay for real um all they're doing is talking about you right now cancer because you know what you're on a major glow up and in the public eye but a lot of this talk isn't, I mean, some of it isn't all, all good, right? There's a lot of it that's a bunch of lies, criticism, okay, hate, envy, gossip, pettiness. So I feel like just, you know, be careful who you trust with any of your information. You know, look at this. Queen of Cups energy. Some people just want you gone, okay? Some people um, wish the worst on you, Cancer. I've got the death card here, okay? But here's the thing. You're loving. You're spiritual. You have faith. Honestly, I don't see you doing anything wrong to anybody here. You're really just focused on you, okay? You're an earth angel, divine feminine out here who's not not wishing anything bad on anybody okay and over here we've got all these schemers all these negative people here um people who just want this person's money and um you know telling lies and sabotaging and under judgment and you know what and here you are queen of cups energy this is the sweetheart in the tarot deck <laughs> And um, completely focused on you and what you're growing here with the Nine of Pentacles. You're not even focused on these people, man. And all they can do is send you hate. All they, all they want is for you to get out of the picture. They, they hate you that much. Why? Because you're loving. Because you're glowing. Because you're successful. Because you're motivated, driven, because you're doing something that they can't. Because you're out here winning and they're not. They're hating on you for that, Cancer. And, I, you know, I feel like you realize there's not a whole lot you can do about it. And, hey, you gotta, you got to keep forging on here with the Chariot and the Nine of Pentacles. You're busy. You're growing something successful and abundant. You know? Some of you are even moving away. The chariot can be a travel card. You could be traveling, going on a vacation, that kind of thing. You may need to travel for your work or something here with the star. Say you put out like travel videos or something. You could do something like that or blogging or whatever it's called. <laughs> Yeah, these people wanted to see you in the Five of Pentacles. That's where they want you. That's where they want you, but that's not going to happen, Cancer. You're at the Nine of Pentacles. You're one pentacle away from ultimate wish fulfillment and generational wealth. Not just a little bit of money. Wealth. And not just for you, for generations to come. Whatever it is that you're growing and nurturing, man, this could be a business, right? A creative project. Um, but it's, it's going to be very abundant if it hasn't already started being abundant, okay? But yeah, these people want to see you struggling. They want to see you out in the cold. They want to see you homeless. Possibly homeless with kids. They don't care. They want to see you either ruined cancer or gone. 
with death out here. But you're protected. Okay, look at how the cross shines down on you. And I feel like you're being stalked. You've been stalked energetically. You people have been watching everything that you do, right? Cyber stalking you, okay? Just to try to see you down. But no, no, that's not going to happen. Look, you're sexy, you're abundant, you're happy, you're in the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment energy, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles out here. All you need here, the only thing you don't have right now, Cancer, is a love offer. That's what you don't have, is a soulmate at your side. That's it. But you are living a beautiful life right now, a wish fulfilled life without a soulmate partner. You're good on your own. This is somebody who's happy being single. You're putting, you're, you're giving yourself love, okay? You're putting yourself first. And it feels good, Cancer. Look, you're smiling again here, Cancer. Coming off a heartache and betrayal. You, you know what? They had you in this energy. They wanted to see you in the Five of Pentacles in a major struggle with your life falling apart, Cancer. But you're out here smiling. You're all smiles. And you're looking good. And you're successful. And you're a hottie. Cancer, I have to pause this video for a second. Sorry about that, Cancer. I kept hearing my door open, and I'm like, who's coming into my house? Um, okay, so anyway, yeah, these people just wanted to see you in ruin, or they wanted to take you down completely, okay? All right, yeah, Ace of Swords, Page of Wands. Look at that. And you know what? I'm really kind of feeling like some kind of spell work was done here, I got to say. Someone playing around with some kind of kitchen kitchen witch magic, okay? Um, I kind of am getting the feeling like there was some kind of spell work done against you as well, yeah. It didn't work, Cancer, and I don't think it's going to work. You're a divine feminine. Look at you. You are protected, and you're a warrior. This is Joan of Arc. Yes, it is. So yeah, you're, you're protected, Cancer, okay? You have the light of the divine shining on top of you. You are a warrior and a messenger for God. That's who Joan of Arc was. And that's the kind of energy that you personify, okay? Joan of Arc energy here. Um, so yes, you are protected. They can't, this energy isn't getting through. As a matter of fact, it almost looks to me like the divine is going to spank this person who's doing the spell work. Okay. Yeah, they wanted, they were chasing after you. They came after you and attacked you energetically, Cancer. They wanted to burn everything down for you, but it did not work. It did not work. No. Mm-mm. Now these people are carrying their own burdens here because you're the high priestess. You're protected and tapped into the divine. You're co-creating with the divine here. And these people have toxic devil energy. Look at them. Look at them. They're fearful. They're afraid. Look at how scared they are. The enslaved man and the enslaved woman. So I feel like this masculine now, they, this masculine is realizing they chose the devil. This, they're seeing all of this that's happened, okay? And they're seeing why, right? And I feel like they're starting to realize here, um, why are you wanting to keep attacking cancer? Cancer hasn't done anything. They're realizing that these people just want to sabotage you. There's no reason for it, mind you. They just want to sabotage you. They just want to keep attacking you. They just want to see you out, ruined, hurt, alone, homeless, destitute, poverty-stricken. Who are these people? You know, and I feel like you're protected. So that's telling me the divine is going to um, bring these people their karma. I'm telling that if they don't cease and desist, if they don't leave cancer alone, 
I mean, you're the messenger for God here. You're a messenger and a warrior. And a high priestess. An ascended master. Yeah, this is what God's going to do. Boom! This is them getting their karma, I was telling you. And it's going to come in real fast. Do you remember when I said it looks like this... this uh, Ace of Swords looks like it's going to spank whoever was doing the spell work. That's what this is. This is this karma coming in for continuing to attack this light worker. Okay? The warrior and messenger for God. So, yeah, these people are about to suffer massive doses of karma. Okay? Uh, but they accrued this karma on their own for all of the negative energy they sent to you. All of that energy is just coming back around to them. Okay? And I feel like spirit's getting mad. I, I'm getting the sense that this is like your, um, your spirit guides, your ancestors, Archangel Michael, whoever is fighting um, behind the scenes for you, right? And I feel like, um, yeah, this is the divine attacking these people back. They're attacking them back, Cancer. All right, so, yeah, they're done. Spirit is done with these people messing with you. And I feel like now they're about to be, uh, yeah, see, you're getting the Wheel of Fortune here, Earth Angel. The Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. Um, and I feel like that happens with this energy, too. You know, as, um, as your spirit guides va vanquish the negative energy, I feel like some of it is actually transformed and transmuted in your favor. So every time they have a lose, Cancer, you have a win. Every time Archangel Michael has to whoop their butt, you have a win. <laughs> and it's like, they want to throw daggers here, man. I'm telling you, these people hate you. Look at the way this person is looking at you. And look at this little gnat. That's, that could even be part of a spell, Cancer. People trying to see what you're doing, what you got going on. Um, here it is. Look at this. Look at how they're looking at you. How dare cancer win? How dare, sorry cancer. Yeah, how dare you, right? How dare cancer be a messenger from God, right? And they've got these daggers in their hand ready to throw them at you. The divine is sick of this, man. They're sick of this. And I feel like these people are going to get so much karma, they're not going to be able to handle it all. All right, yeah, because you're a spiritual being. Your cup is your cup runneth over with spirituality, faith, intuition, psychic abilities, right? I'm telling you, Cancer. Four of Wands, Two of Cups, the Fool. You know what? And justice. I'm telling you, everything is being exposed, Cancer. Everything. Okay? Um, especially to this masculine. This masculine can see that these people are just haters for no apparent reason. They don't have a reason. They don't. They're just jealous haters. And this masculine can see it now. It's apparent. So you know what? This person's going to be coming towards you, Cancer. They see everything clearly now. Look at all this yellow. This person's going to be high vibing. They're going to be coming straight for you, right, in hot pursuit, okay, to come and have a, a reunion here with their soulmate connection. And that's going to bring justice to the situation, this connection. These people here are going to get their karma. This connection could be reunited here, Cancer. I'm getting the sense that this is destined this is destiny. We've got destiny, we've got the earth angel, and we've got the magician out here. Divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy, and something that's destined to come together. So you are about to get your justice here. This connection's gonna, gonna be done justice, okay? Um, and this person's coming in to reunite with their divine feminine. Yeah, 
beautiful reading and this is a new beginning in love being handed to both of you if you want this if you want this right but this can be a, a new start and I feel like cancer some of you may want this person back some of you may not not after all that's been th been done not after everything you've been through but you know whether you want this person back or not just know um, that you you open this person's eyes to everything everything from the from the toxic people that they've been with and all the hate to a spiritual journey and who they are man cancer I'm telling you earth angel that's what you are anyway my darlings um, I am gonna take this over to the extended because what I see here is a person coming back in you're both being led back together and this connection is going to be getting another chance an opportunity you're gonna have a choice okay um, but this is something that's destined you will be getting your justice justice will be done for this um, connection here but I want to see what's gonna happen when this person approaches you because they are about to approach you here with the fool and the four of wands and the two of cups yes okay so if you guys are interested in the extended there's a link to follow in my description box it will take you straight to patreon right and cancer um, I hope this helps I hope it resonates like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe and until next time my darlings take care of you and peace out